When I was young, I made lots of mistakes. Until she was gone, I realized what stupid things I have done. I really hope life could restart. I will redo all the wrong. But unfortunately, life doesn't have a recovery mode. She's just gone. In this video, I simply introduce the recovery mode of my Wi-Fi routers. Just in case you make a mistake, you need to know how to restart, right? Each router has a reset button. If you press the reset button then power it on, it will boot into the recovery mode. For some devices which have USB ports, after you boot into the recovery mode, it will search for the stock firmware from the USB drive. For some other devices, after you boot into the recovery mode, it will search for the stock firmware from TFTP. You need to place the stock firmware in the TFTP for the router to download. Before talking about the recovery mode, we need to first talk about the flash chip, because the recovery function is stored on the flash chip. If you are not sure what is the flash chip, what is the memory, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check this video. Flash chip is like the hard drive on our laptop, but it's read only in most of the time. It has multiple partitions. Different files are stored on different partitions. Usually it has bootloader partition, factory partition, firmware partition, and some other partitions. The recovery function is just stored in one of the partitions. You know, different devices have different recovery functions. For most devices, the recovery function is stored in the bootloader partition, such as the mini router and AC2100. I like such kind of recovery mode, because usually we don't touch the bootloader partition. When installing third-party firmware, we just write the images into the firmware partition. The recovery mode in the bootloader partition should be safe. If you fail to install firmware, you can always boot into the recovery mode to get the new life. But if you install a customized bootloader in the bootloader partition, the recovery mode will be gone. I don't suggest you to touch the bootloader. Most devices have the recovery mode in the bootloader partition, but not every device is like this, such as Mi Wi-Fi Router 3 and 3G. The recovery mode of the Mi Wi-Fi Router 3 is stored in the kernel 0 partition, not bootloader partition. Kernel 0 is part of the stock firmware. If we install customized firmware on the device, the files in kernel 0 partition might be gone. To revert to the stock firmware, we need to first make sure the kernel 0 partition exists. Now we know how to boot into the recovery mode. We know where the recovery mode is stored. I'll show you some examples, show you how to revert to the stock firmware. The nano router is my favorite because I like its recovery mode. It provides a web page for us to upload the stock firmware. You know, other devices only provide the basic recovery functions, which only accept the files from USB or TFTP. No user interface at all. The web page is very straightforward. Just click the upload button, the stock firmware will come back. Although the nano router is not so fast, it's still my favorite. The mini router, the Wi-Fi 3 router, and the 3G router have USB ports. To revert to stock firmware, we need to use a USB drive. Format the USB drive to FAT32. Download the relevant stock firmware, put it into the USB drive, and rename it to miwifi.bin. Then plug the USB drive into the router, boot into the recovery mode, it will search for the stock firmware from the USB drive. If nothing goes wrong, it will write the firmware into the flash storage. A few moments later. But it's possible to go wrong for the Wi-Fi router 3 and 3G. 
Another reason, right? The requirement of the two devices are in the kernel zero partition, not the bootloader partition. If you haven't installed a third party firmware, the kernel zero partition should still be there. Otherwise, you need to first have a functional kernel zero. Then add this environment variable to let the bootloader boot from kernel zero partition. After that, you can boot into the requirement. This part is not only difficult to understand, it's also very risky, because if you didn't successfully flash the kernel zero, most likely you won't be able to boot into a functional firmware to run the mtd command anymore. You lose the recovery mode, you lose the operating system, it's a break now. That is what I don't like uh, of me Wi-Fi router 3. Very easy to be a break. So please be careful with the third generation of me routers. It's like a cruel girlfriend, never will come back if you make a mistake. Also, the bootloader is locked by default. You can't flash firmware from the serial console, so I suggest you to first unlock the bootloader for this device if you have access to the stock firmware. Just add this environment variable in the MVRAM, the bootloader is unlocked. The fourth generation and the following generations of me Wi-Fi routers mostly accept stock firmware from TFTP after booting to the requirement. This is quite like the PXE feature of Ubuntu servers. You can load the operating system from a local network. If you are not sure how to set up DHCP service and TFTP service, you can also download the official repair tool from the manufacturer's website to do the job. The repair tool looks junky and uh, malfunctional. <laughs> it only supports Chinese language, which my laptop doesn't support. The user interface is so weird, but it works. If you got access denied, please check this video to download the repair tool. Okay, just select the stock firmware, select the Ethernet adapter that connected with the router. Click next step to upload the stock firmware. If you see such a progress bar, it means it's uploading firmware to the router. Wait for a few seconds. The LED will turn blue and keep shining. At this moment, just power circle the rotor. The device will recover. If you don't see such a progress bar, please close the tool and retry. Sometimes you just need to retry to make it work. This repair tool is just as junky as like this. If it never succeeds, then you should check the firewall, the antivirus, and some other settings of Windows operating system. Okay, that is all I want to show you. For most of the Wi-Fi routers, if you haven't touched the bootloader partition, you can always flash back to the stock firmware. You don't need to worry about that. If you fail to install OpenWRT or Padawan, it will be a break. But for the third generation of Mi Wi-Fi router, things are different. It's possible to be a break if you can't put into the operating system. So please watch out and do a research before installing firmware. Each device has a different recovery mode. Make sure you know all the details of your device. Okay, at the end of this video, I hope you can always have another chance after making a mistake. People always learn some lessons from the mistakes. If you like the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye!